we're here. We're here. It's time. Oh, am I in? Oh, yeah, I'm in. Okay, it's time. It was the we're second here. tab. I we're was here. Idiot. Let me it's sure. time. Oh, okay. Am I in? I like to make sure my audio it's is time. fine because uh, it was. There was one time I read One Piece with the audio completely gone. So I had to redo the video. But, you know, I didn't pretend like I didn't read it or anything. I just read it again. <laughs> but it sucked. So. Mm -mm. I just read One Piece and it was a great chapter. Now I'm apparently going to read something very sad. So I'm ready for it. And, uh, well, let me actually, I probably should have done this before, but let's move this a little closer. I need to, I'm not much of an audio guy, but I want to be. <clears throat> so I can make audio sound better. But it's time. For Goodbye Airy, 200 pages. But to be fair, that's practically like two to three One Punch Man chapters. Although I bet this is probably going to be dialogue heavy. Now that I think about it. It's all going to be in one video anyway, so we're going to finish it. One whole video, just all in. All in. And after that, I'm going to watch Hair Academia Season 6, Episode 3, because that came out yesterday, but I just didn't, uh, didn't feel like watching it yesterday because I was really tired. All right, well, whoever's in, thank you. Let's begin checking that Discord. Boom. Oh, yeah, I have a Discord now. Uh, you can join it if you want to. I'll put a link somewhere. I, I guess I didn't put a link anywhere. Whatever. Well, we'll, we'll get there. Okay. So we've got the phone. Goodbye, Eri. By Tatsuki Fujimoto. Let's begin. I have no idea what I'm in for. Translation, Amanda Haley. Thank you, Amanda. Thank you. I got a smartphone for my birthday. This is my mom, mom and dad. Okay. And this is me. I just started middle school. <laughs> Woo! Yeah! Fuck yeah! Woo! Ta-da! Here's my birthday cake. Happy 12th birthday, Utah. Whoa, nice, nice. It's shortcake with whipped cream, bro. I want some of that, bro. Uh, they, should, they should do, like, an anime special of this. They can make a movie out of this, couldn't they? Is this, is this manga long enough to be like, maybe like a 30 minute, no 30 minute, maybe like a, an hour special maybe? I don't know. Yuda, listen, as your mom, can I make a small request? So he's just basically filming this right now. You know how I could die from my illness? How did that make you feel? Okay, so we've established already that she's dying. The shakiness of, like, because, like, this this is really cool, actually. Fujimoto's really good at making, uh, he's just great at panel work. Because, like, the second panel, this panel, and even this one it looks like, too, it's just the shakiness of him, like, doing this, you know, because it's a recording. It's pretty cool, actually. I'm going to use this phone, fuck it, as an example. I don't feel like talking about that on my birthday. Yuda? Yuda, listen. I want you to... I want you to start shooting videos of me. Huh? Dude. If, the, if you know what, at this point... Oh, she's saying it right now, too. On video, you can hear my voice and see me move. That way, even if I'm gone, you can still remember me. Can you do that for me? I was about to say, that's probably why she wants to him to film it. Because he'd have memories. The dad's like, oh, no crap. Okay. Thank you. The dad's like, I guess this is an acceptable thing right now. We're on a family trip to the aquarium. Dad's here too, because he's off work. Dun, 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 dun. Here's the finished parfait. Let me see how it tastes. It does look good. He's just like filming everything, I guess. A stray cat. Mom and dad are watching TV. They're laughing. <clears throat> Mom's gonna poo. <laughs> no filming in here. No, you cannot. <laughs> 
Stray Cat number four. Mom's about to take a bath. Camera off, Buster. You ain't about to see mommy. You ain't about to see it. You're gonna, you, you see mom, but not mommy. Dad's crying in secret. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. Okay. Dad's asleep. Mom, too. I'm keeping watch in case she dies in her sleep. You just set up your phone to record in her in their sleep? Dude, the fucking hell. Jesus. My parents bought me a PC. Because my smartphone ran out of space. Oh. I've shot about six total hours of videos now. Oh my god. That's a lot of videos. This is mom all dressed up. It's date night. Oh my. And we're just... I'm in the hospital for tests. It's surprisingly comfy here. Oh, God. How many points do you get Dad's cooking? 50. We got a family picture. Dad's crying. Oh, my God. I'm going to lose my mind. This is Taguchi, the nurse. She's close to my mom. It's Taguchi, actually. This is a scrape I got. Looks nasty. That's pretty nasty. <clears throat> My video files crossed the 40 hour mark. Oh god. <laughs> the amount of space I have on my computer for all the videos I make and I have made, even with my other drives, I get you, bro. I'm staying home from school starting tomorrow. Because mom's in the re in the hospital for real now. Oh god. This is my face right now. <laughs> oh no. I'm unwell all the time now. It feels like this might last until I die. She's very calm about this. She probably accepted death already, to be honest. This is the hospital food. It tastes bland. I don't know if it's the food or my taste buds. I don't know. I had a friend who went uh, inpatient, and they said that all the um, all they had was like th this apple juice, but like what she did was she like mixed it with water, so she basically drank like watered down apple juice the whole time, and that's like the most delicious thing ever because she was so got so used to it, and when she got back home, normal apple juice was too much, <laughs> so yeah. It could be, it's probably just, you, you get used to it once you eat it a lot. Hey now, kiddo. There's no need to film your dad. Yeah, you're, you're, yeah. I cooked this. How many points do I get? Two. Jesus Christ, what is that? Okay, now we see mom and toothbrushes. Would you call them teeth brush? No, toothbrushes. I don't know why I'm making that point right now. <clears throat> I have over 100 hours of video files now. Dude, you're like, you have more video files than I made when I was a kid. Jesus Christ. Also, also, I guess my mom might not have long now. I, I still can't wrap my head around it. I'm not even sad about it. No, I'm sad. I am. Jesus. We've got the ants and the grasshopper. Yuda. Your mom's in her final moments now. Yuda. It's time to go to the hospital. Oh, God. I'm not ready, bro. In the car. Your mom, she wants you to film her until her dying breath. Wow. Okay. Okay. Oh, boy. You know, it's such an odd request, but, like, from her perspective, she's gonna die anyway, you know? So, like, she's probably like, hey, just at least do that to remember. It's so weird, though. It's still so weird. Yuda, come here. Where are you going? Yuda, hey, Yuda, come back. Yuda. Yuda. He's just running away. He doesn't want to. Yeah, he just doesn't want to. 
the POV perspective is, is fascinating. Because from what I can see here with these panels, he's actually backwards walking and then he turns around and then starts running. That's what I imagine at least. Okay. He's still running. He's still... What? What the fuck? What? Why? 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 What? Give me this fucking pillow and let me just do that again. Stay there. I'm gonna throw you later. What? It's a movie? Goodbye, Mom! <laughs> what? What? Keep reading. Keep reading, Hayden. Keep reading. You have 200 pages. They're all like, oh, my God, what a movie that was. Wow. Oh. That was, wait, that was a documentary from Class 1B's Yuta Ito, Dead Explosion Mother. A documentary? So did that actually happen? What the fuck was the explosion? You know, now that I think about it, these explosions, especially in this second panel here, they look like they're drawn, that, that, they're, that they're supposed to be fake, because a piece of the explosion is down here. That's kind of not possible, I think, from how the perspective is. So maybe the, those are just effects that he made. So you're telling me, if that's the case... He made a documentary about his mom dying, and then he ended it with explosions. What the fuck? What? Next, next up is a performance by the Pop Music Club. My movie just finished playing. Let's see what everybody thinks. <clears throat> I think, uh, I think I speak for all of us when I say. I have, like, no idea what the heck we just watched. I agree. <laughs> Real talk. It's hard to sing after watching such a crappy movie. <laughs> huh? Blah. Blah. <laughs> okay, you guys. Let's get back on track. Here's our first song. Stop Sun. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm glaring at a sun that won't budge. It needs a kickstart. All the same faces. The same friends and family never apart. The only thing that ever moves is my girl's heart. Yeah! Yuda, come with me. Yuda, hey. Hey, stop recording. Put your phone away. I'm, par I'm partly responsible for not screening it beforehand. Still... You should know better than to make a movie like that. It's making a mockery of your mother's death. Yeah. That's why. Like, because it's a documentary, so that actually happened. So he did make the fake explosions. Because it did look suspicious. Because, again, that second panel, the explosions actually, the perspective of it does look fake. That's kind of genius how he drew that. Because it, it made me think how and why. But yeah, why did he do that? Why did you go and turn it into a movie? That's just wrong. Why would you do that? The fact that it was in a theater too, that's kind of like... I wish I could have done that with like the shit I made as a kid. It's just shitty stop motion Lego videos, that's it. That's literally, if you look in the oldest videos on my channel, that's just stop motion videos from like 2008, bro. It's, I keep them. They're good memories. That's what I think. Even if, if, even if you think they're cringe, or if I think they're cringe, it's just good memories, you know? I had about 100 hours of footage, so I edited it down so it'd be easier to watch. 
You edited down a hundred hours. You are the greatest editor in the universe. How could you edit a hundred hours of footage? I wish I could do that. Then I added some good sounding music and um, I just had a movie. You used to make stop motion logo movies as a kid? Good. My man. <laughs> Mine were pretty bad because I had a really old phone, but you know, it was still fun. It was still fun. I could probably make them now. I, I know how to do them. Like, like with the technology of today, yeah, you've seen all the cool stop motion videos now. Like, yeah. Don't feel bad for your late mother showing a video like, oh, that's, he said that, I said that completely wrong. Don't you feel bad for your late mother showing a video like that? You don't have any of those videos? Oh, man. Well, at least you have the memories, though. At least you have the memories. Because that's why I, that's why I say, like, having the memories is always fun. Because making those little Lego videos always reminds me of the old house I lived in, which is very nostalgic, because I don't live there anymore. But, you know, it's just nostalgia. Nostalgia. Do I feel bad? I, um, no. That ending, why did you have the explosion at the end? That was awesome, right? Yeah. Dude. Do you think a person's death wrong hand is awesome? What is wrong with you? Whoa. What did I think? The ending sucked. It made me sick to my stomach. I have serious doubts about your sense of morals. Put yourself in your mom's shoes. You're despicable. Why? Why would you turn that video into a movie? It was one bad movie. <laughs> it was sh shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. My mom died too last year. Hmm. That's why I can't forgive you. But not for turning it into a movie. That's not the problem. Why did you add the explosion at the end? Yeah, if it, if you if it was just a documentary without that explosion, it would have been fine. It would, like, the mom even requested for you to record her anyway, so. Also, at the beginning of this, when I heard that it was called Goodbye Airy, I just thought of Airy from uh, Hero Academia, because that's a character in that series. Um, that, that's, just, that, that's just what I was thinking. But I'm guessing Airy is definitely the mom, so. <laughs> the panels, man eyes hey all this one goes out to all the people who made fun of me if you're watching this then i'm already dead what i've committed suicide <clears throat> by jumping off the roof of the hospital where my mom died dude i am this is gonna be a long video i'm only on page 32 but this is good i love this it's basically like a full volume, right? I think you could say like it's probably like seven to eight chapters, you could technically say. Yeah, probably. I put the entirety of my middle school life into making that movie. Do you guys have any idea how it feels to have it have it get mocked? Yeah, how old is he now? Are you thinking, why would you kill yourself over that? If that's how you feel, you deserve to die too. God, this kid is something else. Yeah, full volume. Yeah. I like that. Because if I'm guessing that means it exists like as an actual book. Like, just one book. I might buy it if it exists, actually. Just to have it. Like a collector's thing. When I'm done with reading it here, obviously. Oh, Dad, when you find this video, I have a request. Please don't be sad. Show this video to the jerks who made fun of me. Make them remember me for the rest of their lives. This world is filled with death. Memento mor- Hey.
Memento Mori. Memento Mori. Unisonus. <laughs> you know. Good old Unisonus. He said Memento Mori, so I had to put the shirt on. I'm reading Goodbye, Ari, and I just decided to change a shirt in the middle of stream. There's something clearly wrong with me. You got Look Back as a book for five bucks. Oh, it's not bad. Five bucks? Jesus. Anyway, let's continue. Memento Mori. I'm at her desk. This is Yuda signing off. Goodbye. He just reaches for the camera. He Did he actually... Is he about to do it? Is he going to film it? Wait. No way. He's actually going in the hospital, too. He doesn't give a shit. Employees only. Nope. He's looking at the parking lot. Dude, the camera work is insane. You gonna jump? What? Whoa. Where did she come from? If you don't want to die, don't do it. Or if you want to die, don't do it here. You'll hurt the hospital's reputation. Go die at the hospital near the station. The doctors there are total jerks. Do it there. Also, if you're serious about dying, the money in your wallet, um, huh? Wait a sec. No way. Are you by any chance Yuta Ito from Dead Explosion Mother? Uh, yeah, that's me. Hmm. Come with me. Ooh, what? Is this a fan? <laughs> it's... <laughs> <laughs> is this a fan? Okay. Where, is she, where are they going? God, I like the panels changing areas of, of them walking. Dude, this 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 has got to be... They, they have to make a short out of this, man. Like, oh, that would be so cool to see this like as a mini animated special, dude. Come on. I can already imagine the quality of the... Like, if MAPPA animated this, you know how easy that would be for them? Because there's probably not much action in this. It's mainly just movements of characters and talking. So you could get away with a lot of cool, like, animation, like, tricks to make it look good. That's just me saying that, though. I'm not an animation expert, but I know a lot about it. Okay. She brought them, where, where are they? Is this like a little abandoned warehouse or something? What are they watching? Why are you showing me a movie? No talking during movies. I'm sorry. Who are you? Is this place yours? Her face, man. Again, Fujimoto's panel work is fantastic. Especially how he changes facial expressions only. Not the entire background, you know. I'll tell you if you keep quiet for the next nine hours. After this movie, we're watching four more. What the fuck? You took him to force him to watch movies? And no, it's not my place. We're trespassing in an abandoned building. I brought the projector. He's like, what the fuck is wrong with you? He's like... And just con continues watching. Thanks for the charger. It's 2 a.m. I'm leaving. Uh, why are you recording me? Bigger question. Uh, the movies were good and all, but who are you and why'd you show them to me? I didn't tell you yet? No, you didn't! Hmm. You haven't seen that many movies, have you? I've seen the movies they play on TV. That's not nearly enough. You have to watch more. You see, I watch the Nostalgia Critic. <laughs> He's a movie master! <laughs> why? Because you can't make a film everyone will like unless you've watched a ton of them. Okay, that's true. You do have to have a lot of movie knowledge. I actually do like to watch Nostalgia. 
Because he, he does break down movies, you know, so. Oh, great. Are you one of those people who have a problem with my movie? Oh, I had plenty of problems with it. But it had an edge you rarely see, and the surprises outnumbered its faults. It's an immature work for sure, yet despite it running for close to 20 minutes, 10 hours, 100 hours for 20 minutes of footage, that hurts my soul. I could watch it all without getting bored. Huh. <clears throat> and the way it blurred the line between fact and fiction, for me, that was a good puzzle. What's this about? You still haven't answered me. Hmm. Your movie was super awesome. He, had, he does have a fan. <clears throat> but it was just as frustrating as it was good. I was the only person in that gym who was crying. Everyone else used it as a material for their jokes, and that really pissed me off. That's why you're going to make another movie. From tomorrow on, for the next year, you're going to increase your input by watching loads of movies. Then in the next year, you'll shoot a movie and show it at the school festival. This will probably make him not kill himself then. Next time, don't you want to make them all brawl, all ball their eyes out and then brawl? <clears throat> I like the sound of that. I'll be your manager. <clears throat> Don't worry. I'm confident I watch more movies than anyone in this town. Okay, I think I get it now. But who are you anyway? Oh. Mappa CEO said they're interested in adapting every work of Fujimoto. Who knows that'll really happen? Well, I hope it does happen. That'd be pretty cool. It seems that they... They, they really like his work. I'm Airy. What the fuck? Put her there? Yeah. I thought the mom's name was Aerie, bro. It's her. I'm gonna lose it. Mmm. Mmm. Goodbye, Aerie is not a good title. It's like, as a sign for this. She. Oh. Man, this sucks. Okay. It doesn't suck, but I'm saying it sucks for when I read it. Because I'm probably gonna get sad. So. That's what I mean. I love this right now. Oh, the stars are out. We're back, folks. Dad, I'm home. Uh, oh, welcome home. You, uh, you guys, did you know life is beautiful, bright, and pure? And to anyone considering suicide, don't throw your life away. We all die one day. You should give life a try until your number comes up. Wishing you all well. This is Yuta signing off. Thanks. Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay. True, though. True. During class, I want you to summarize the five movies we watched yesterday in only one sentence each. Once you've managed that, Break their stories down into exposition, rising action, climax, and resolution. Jesus Christ. In a way you can explain them to me. <clears throat> I'll listen to your answers after school. If I do that, I'll be able to make a good movie. This is how they do it in Hollywood. Don't you trust Hollywood? I mean, yeah, you gotta break down... Yeah, it's true. You uh, gotta break down the movies. And after that, in the last scene, the protagonist is able to move forward with a positive attitude. The end. Did I do that right? Uh, I guess that's the best I can expect at the start. I'll accept it. Come on, what's with that? Let's buy a dinner at a convenience store. After school, we'll watch three movies minimum every day at that spot. You know, watching three movies, like, that's still a lot, man. That's a lot. But, I mean, it's for the sake of <sighs> movie making, yeah. Yeesh, you're going to really eat all that? You're really going to eat all that? It's not like I'll put on weight anyway. 
Yeah, you know, you got the metabolism. Hmm. Bye. Meet me here again tomorrow at 9 a.m. sharp. Huh? We're watching movies on days off school, too? What, you don't want to? You should be glad you get to spend all day with a babe like me. If you'd have an extracurricular in the way, then quit it. God damn! I mean, true, you are you're hanging out with, with a babe like her, yeah. I wouldn't turn it down. Kill nutrition. What the hell? Anyway, movie you watching? Convenience store? <laughs> Is this a gross movie? Maybe like a grotesque movie they're watching? Convenience store. Happy movie. Oh, wait, this is... Oh, this is a bookstore. Or a movie store again. Oh, right, movie stores. That makes a lot of sense. Another movie. Movie. Movie, movie, movie. That's a shift reference. Just, just look up shift movie. I dare you. And then watch the first video. Part one of four, I don't know. Movie. It's just him playing the Spongebob movie game for like hours on end. And it's so fucking funny. I recommend it. Okay. It's just more, it's just different emotions watching different movies. I mean, at this point, I would, just, like, if you're hanging out this much with her, at this point, it probably developed like a crush or like, you know, love or something like that. Cinema. Just having a good time, man. <clears throat> you actually like cliched stuff, don't you? I ask because you cried during the heroine's death scene. What a shallow analysis. I cried because the story resonated with my own life. Oh. Also, you have this habit of making a low-key peace sign whenever characters score a win? Maybe. Hmm. Oh. Like, literally, like, just like, like that. Well, you say, oh, yeah, every time there are nipples on screen. Do not do too. I wouldn't be that way. You sure, you sure are. You sure you aren't saying it unconsciously? I don't. Really, I don't say it. Oh, no, you say it all right. Do not do too. Do not do too. Yeah. Nipples? Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. High schoolers. <laughs> oh, yeah. He just says it. He's like... See? See what? Nothing. <laughs> no, really, what? Never mind. He literally doesn't know. He just does it unconsciously. Oh, fuck. What? What? Come on, tell me. Forget it. It's nothing. It has to be something, right? What is it? You're freaking me out. Be quiet. It's bugging me so much I can't focus on the movie. Shut up already! <laughs> I think you're ready to plot out your next movie. Plot it out? What's that? It's deciding the basic outline of the story before you write the screenplay. You know, I... I I didn't realize it but until now, but it makes a lot of sense that Fujimoto is writing a story right now about making a movie when he is a movie fan. So, of course, he is going to have all this knowledge about movies because he loves movies. Like, he has movie references in, like, the opening of Chainsaw Man, like, in his own manga. So, yeah. Yeah. This is, this is pretty cool. Anyway, it's deciding the basic outline of the story before you write the screenplay. Oh. Oh. And I'm coming up with this? No, duh. Hey, like, wouldn't be, wouldn't it be better for someone else to write it? You could come up with a better story than I could. I could, Ari. You watch more movies than me. It has to be you. Why? I want to watch your movie. Because I'm in love. His face, he's like, ah. Did you just confess to me? No, you idiot. I'm in love with your movies. Damn. <laughs> B 
Besides, if I made the movie, it wouldn't be a f school festival rematch. Oh, right. Oh. Oh, yeah. Here, I'll give you a potato stick. So go and think up a plot. I'll take the potato stick, bro. <sighs> now where are we? So what do you think? Oh, she's reading the... Okay, she's reading it now. Hmm. It's... How can I put this? Average? Come up with something else. Too normal. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm, boring. Boring. Average. It's not bad, but it's not good either. Bring me something else. Oh my god, how many plots did this man write for her? It's not quite right. I give up. I surrender. I cry, uncle. Blah, blah. Ugh. My heart's all slushy mess at this point. I can't even tell what's good or not anymore. Well, I can s well, I can, so stop worrying. Write with confidence. Why are you standing so far away? COVID, I don't know. You know, I always meant to ask, what exactly did you like about my movie? You're the only person in the world who says it's good. Everyone else called it crappy so much that I don't even know what I liked about it anymore. Well, first of all, the part where you run away from the hospital... In your movie, the plot progressed like a touching story. But seriously, asking your middle school aged son to record his own mother's death? Isn't that just cruel? Huh. So when you ran away from the hospital as it exploded, it felt cathartic to me. Huh. The next thing that moved me was how beautifully you always shot your mother. If it were me, I'd be really happy having someone capture me that beautifully. Also, I like your character. He's good. Even though your mother was the one in the title, you were the one likable, most likable character in the movie. So in your next movie, I don't want to see someone else's story. I want to see your story. Oh. Well, when you put it like that, I... God damn. <clears throat> Alright, back with Dad. Dad... When you think of me, what's the first thing that comes to mind? I'd say you're all about... Movies? Uh-huh. Movies, I guess. When you think about my movies, what comes to mind? Hmm... Explosions? Yeah, maybe explosions. He's a young Michael Bay. Ever since you were little, you always sprinkled a, bit, a pinch of fantasy into everything. Pinch of fantasy? That's right. Like when you drew me in kindergarten, you gave me a dragon's face. That time we took a family trip to the zoo, you were talking to the giraffe the entire time. Oh, hey, now that I think about it, how come you're recording right now? Huh. Just getting that info. So the protagonist's mom buys him a smartphone. Then she tells him, I'm sick and I'm going to die, so film me until my dying breath. Then, partway through the movie, wait, isn't that the same story as your last movie? There's more. The protagonist couldn't bring himself to film his mother's death. Then he makes a crappy movie and gets ragged on big time for it. So, our wounded protagonist decides to jump from his death to his death from the hospital roof. Then, when he gets up from the roof, or to the roof, enter the vampire girl. Oh, shit. The protagonist then gets abducted and taken to this building. Just when he thinks she's going to drink his blood, she makes him watch a bunch of movies. And then the vampire orders the protagonist to make a movie. Right. After that, the two of them watch tons of movies, come up with a plot, and... Then I haven't come up with the rest yet. Come up with it right now. Hmm. The protagonist's problem, probably, is, isn't the fact that his film got made fun of. Maybe it's that he didn't record his mother's death. That's it. The truth is, the protagonist regrets running away. And then, and then, uh, yeah. The vampire actually doesn't have long to live. 
she's lived for a thousand years and she's about to die from an illness or something. <clears throat> Despite living for a thousand years, she's afraid of being forgotten. So the vampire wants the protagonist to shoot a movie she'll be in. As they shoot the movie, the protagonist and the vampire fall in love. But the vampire is growing weaker and weaker. Finally, I film the vampire's death, and their love story is over. I, if she actually acts this out and makes it real, I'm gonna, I'm gonna die. For this. Having filmed a death, the thing he couldn't do for his mother, the protagonist regains the will to live and the confidence to make movies. The end. Hmm. Sounds like it could be good, right? It's semi autobiographical. Wow. It's semi autobiographical. That's not how you say that word. But so if I use myself as the protagonist, I think the meta aspect will go over well with the students who saw my movie last year. Plus, the videos of my mom and the scenes of the people trash talking me are all real, so I can use unscripted, unacted lines. If you're recycling old footage, I assume I'm playing the vampire. You know it. All that's left is to write down the plot in a little more detail, and I bet you could whip up a screenplay in no time. Sounds good. Oh, right. Before I write the screenplay, will you meet my dad? Sure. When I told him we're shooting a movie, he said we, he wanted to meet you. My dad's chatterbox. He's going to talk your ears off. <laughs> At dinner. Yep. Huh. Yeah, I like the paneling because he's doing this with the phone. <clears throat> I guess he's not a chatterbox. They're just straight up eating. Wow, fascinating, isn't it? Look, um, I'm sorry to run, ruin this nice meal, but... Atiuda's father, there's something I need to get off my chest. Eri, I want you to stop pushing Yuda to make this movie. Dad, what are you saying? Don't let him. I saw how much Yuta was hurt by his mother's passing. I saw how much it hurt him when he made that movie to vent his feelings, too. My son's been happier since meeting you, and for that I can't thank you enough, but even so, even so, if making this new movie hurts him again, this time it might damage his ability to move forward beyond repair. I once aimed to be a creator myself, so I know how it goes. <clears throat> When you create a work you're confident in, and others take your creation and mock it, and treat it like a plaything, it, it messes you up. But Dad, I chose to... Yuda, you be quiet. Eri, get out of this house. I don't want you near Yuda ever again, do you hear me? I promised my late wife that I'd protect this family. You leave our family alone. I'm... I'm begging you, just leave us be. <laughs> and he opens his eyes, and she's still there. And cut. It was all acting. Whew. Oh, how'd I do? My acting wasn't too stiff. Oh, no, sir. You were very good. Wow, oh my god. Glad to hear it. I did theater with my friends after college. I have to quit when I didn't succeed right away, though. Really, though, Ari, thank you for spending so much time with Yuda. I mean it. Oh, not at all. I'm glad to. It's a lot of work to film a movie, isn't it? How much have you shot? We have about one-third left to shoot. Really? Isn't that something? So this sounds like the scene we just did, but are you okay? Are you sure you're okay with letting Yuda shoot this movie? Huh? If he makes a bad movie, it really will get mocked and treated like a plaything. Me and Yuda and you too, won't we all get hurt? Hmm. Well, um, to quote a friend of mine, creation is all about getting into the audience's problems to make them laugh and cry, right? Well, it wouldn't be fair if creators didn't get hurt too, would it? I mean, yeah, you gotta, you have to be aware. 
that whatever you make can fail. And it can also just, like, you just have to be aware that failure is always going to be a thing, you know. That's what I think, you know. So if something, like, happens, I'm like, okay, can can do, do it again. Or just be aware that if it happens, at least you're not surprised by a failure, you know. That was a good line, right? We Should we shoot another take of that? <laughs> oh, he was still recording, too. Yes, absolutely. Oh. Are we at the beach? Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Ari, if you're a vampire, how can you still how can you be out in the sunlight? Well, a little bit doesn't hurt. That is not how vampires work, but okay. I spend most of my time inside watching movies. Okay, then do garlic and crosses not affect you either? Hmm. I hate garlic. I hate scallions and onions, too. How old are you? Your real age. Hmm. I'm about, uh, 1,200 years old. Over your long life, have you gone through any struggles? It makes me sad that everyone I know will die before me. Humans die in a scant hundred years. That's so insane to think about, you know. It's also insane to think about, like, like, 500 years from now. Or isn't it, don't people, isn't it, like, people that have been, that are born in, like, the 2010s and onward, they're gonna live to be more than 100, like, by default, because, like, humans are just, they're growing in age. And they're, like, since we're evolving, you know. It's insane to think about. Like, humans, some humans that are born, like, now will live pretty damn long. Also, of course, medical shit, you know, like technology. That's why I envied you. Huh? If you watch your movie, you get to see your mother again, don't you? Isn't that an incredibly beautiful thing? That is what the mom wanted, that's for sure. You're the only one who praises me, Harry. <laughs> You always watch movies with me. You're even acting in my movie for free. I wish I could thank you somehow. Then let me drink your blood. <laughs> it's like, oh man, the deal. The deal is on. Oh shit. Is this the tragic death? I can't tell what's if what's a movie and what's not anymore. Like, is this... Wait, so she actually collapsed? That was real? Because she's in the hospital. I came to visit. Huh? Are you recording? I sent you a get well video. Oh, really? What is it? I never got to record my mom going to the bathroom. Just so, just to be safe. I'm recording this video of me pooping for posterity. Yes. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Have you ever watched a video of someone pooping before? Of course not. That's gross. I have lots of even nastier videos. I'll show them to you once you get better. Or once you're better. Hmm. I don't know about that one. You don't get better. Huh? You don't get better. It's that kind of illness. I knew. I just... I thought I had more time. So she took that opportunity then. She probably thought this was going to happen during the filming or something. But she... I guess she thought she had more time. This isn't about the movie, is it? Why? Why didn't you say anything? Hmm. I... When I saw your movie, the truth is, I related to your mom. I know how it feels to want someone to film your death. It feels like that way. It feels like that way. In a movie, you could keep living. I envied her for that. <clears throat> huh. I have a request. 
I want you to film me until the moment of my death, just like in the plot you came up with. Will you? Oh my god. What the hell? How can you, um, I mean, how can you ask me to do that? Who would want to do that? If he goes through with this, that's going to be an actually, like, fascinating movie when you really think about it. But this is going to affect him so much. Damn. Holy shit, dude. I heard about Ari. Aren't you going to school? Just leave me alone. Hey, Yuda. What? Get out of my room already. Or he says probably what, like what? Because he's angry. Your mom's final moments. I recorded them. Do you want to see? Bro. I'm going to get my water. Hang on. I've been reading a lot. And I don't want to drink Merchie Hill right now. Hang on. Just to be fair, reading a lot can sometimes take it out of me. Because I, I have a cardiologist appointment in about a month. Because you want some honest stuff about me. I had a heart murmur as a kid. It was closed up. But I feel like it might be affecting me again. Because I'm getting tired easily lately. Which is what happened last time. Because the oxygen doesn't flow through your body when that like hole is in here. The murmur. So I'm having like uh, issues being tired pretty easily again. So reading a lot like this kind of gets me, it kind of makes me tired. I'm not going to lie. But I get through it. I get through it. But, yeah, I'm going to wait to that Echo uh, EKG in about a month. So, yeah, that's just something I'm saying. Yeah, I know. I'm fine. I'm fine. It really only affects me if I, like, physically do a lot of shit, you know, like, like, if I, like, work out for, like, an extended period of time or something like that. Although, to be fair, I probably should exercise more. That would probably help. I don't exactly do that. I need to do that. I need to do that, too. But, yeah. That is pretty crazy. They, they never, they found out about the, the murmur when I was, like, born, I think. Or they, like, saw, like, a sign of it or something. And then, what was it, like, 2009? I had the surgery for it. Closed it up. And then when they closed it up, the oxygen flowed through my body, finally. And I went through puberty twice as fast as a normal fucking human being. Like, I grew, like, instantly. Everything happened, like, twice as fast because the oxygen was flowing through me. I was like, what is happening? <laughs> it's so weird, dude. It's so weird. And then after that, like, I'm just, I'm tall. Like, I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm a man now. <laughs> And now, uh, and I, I never had, I never had a follow-up cardiologist appointment. And it's been 13 years. So I should probably, I, I have that scheduled next month. I should probably have that happen. So, yeah. That's me. That's me. Record me in my five minutes. No, that's too morbid. That's too morbid. Okay, let's continue on. That's my, that's my lore, my story. You now know my lore. <laughs> so let's let us continue. Uh, yeah, but I need water. Definitely need. Oh. Need that big water too. <clears throat> big water. Anyway, he recorded. He actually recorded the final moments. I feel like he might actually. Oh, he actually. Oh God. Okay. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, um, Yuda won't come out of the car. Um, so, since it's your wish, uh, I'll be recording. 
Why isn't Yuta here? Why? Yuta, he doesn't want his mom to die. So he couldn't make it this far. Okay, okay. Okay. Okay, right. Oh, man. Shit. That boy was useless to the very end. God damn! What the fuck? You to hurry up and record. What are you waiting for? Don't you realize I could die? I'd look ugly in a shot frame like that. Can't you tell that much? Do you want do you want everyone to laugh at how ugly I am? There's no point in filming cats to leave that. Are you stupid? Why won't you film as I told you? Remember, the money for that smartphone came out of my pocket. When does this take place? He has an actual like smartphone, so it's gotta take place like probably it has to be modern times. It has to be. You remember your mother was a TV producer, right? Oh. She'd planned to make a TV documentary about her brave battle against the illness after she recovered. Oh. Since I'd be at work during the day, she had you shoot the videos. That doesn't look like it's a hard punch. It looks like it's like something like that. But it, I, maybe it is an actual punch. I don't know. So is it abuse? It's hard to tell from the movement of those panels. Because she, cause she doesn't look like she's following through with like a hard punch. She's just kind of doing like a slow thing. Son, I, I knew it was horrible what she was doing to you. But I, I pretended not to see it. I ran away. Okay, maybe it was abuse. Oh my god. I acted like everything was okay. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Damn. <clears throat> that's why, that's why when I watched your movie, I was shocked. In the movie, your mom was, she was a good mom. I could only see the beautiful things about her. And when mom was in a bad mood, she'd give me the silent treatment. But she probably didn't do that for Yuta. No silent treatment for him. And she never praised me for anything, but I wanted my memory. Oh, this is, fuck, this is not him talking. This is the son talking. When mom was in a bad mood, she'd give me the silent treatment. She never praised me for anything, but I wanted my memories of her to be beautiful. Yuta, do you have the power to decide for yourself how you'll remember someone? That's an incredible thing. I think maybe Ari wants you to choose how she'll be remembered. Huh. All the footage. All that footage. Yeah, I mean, that laptop, that computer, it's definitely modern times. Oh, we're back. I heard you got discharged for now. Uh-huh. But it's only inevitable, isn't it? Can I film your every move from this point on? Thanks. By the way, what's the deal with this video? It's a video of me crapping in a field. <laughs> Wow. You did it there? <laughs> and it's just more of him recording her, dude. It's a big Sunday, bro. I want that. Shit. Damn. <laughs> just at a temple... Making funny faces, petting a cat, in bed together, it looks like. Back in the hospital. On a bench, in a movie, in a wheelchair. Did something affect her to that to get to that point? Maybe her illness did that to her. Man, now it's the, the IV bag. 
Hey, see, I like how the like it's four of the same channel, but it conveys, it just conveys time, you know, like that's like maybe. It just conveys time. I like how the paneling works. Hey, are you going to use tr the travel scenes in the movie? Hmm. Yeah. What about the scene where I fell into the water? Uh, should I? Yeah. Remind we, me, did we shoot any kissing scenes? We did. Shit. Can I put them in? Hmm. I don't know. Should we shoot one more just to be safe? Smooth. <laughs> okay. See, this now give, make, gives me, it conveys that in these three panels, they probably kissed. Right? Yeah, they probably did. Fujimoto's a mad genius, dude. Yuta? Why did you make my character a vampire? I guess I wanted to sprinkle in a pinch of fantasy. Plus, the first time we met, you dragged me to an abandoned building out of nowhere. Doesn't that seem like something a vampire would do? Hmm, it does. I thought even if she sucks me dry and kills me, if it means I'd become sustenance for someone this beautiful, I'm okay with that. Again, smooth. Thanks. Hmm. Arr. I wish I could have watched your movie. I mean, you can watch part way through it. I've been editing it as we go. See, that's a trooper right there. Editing it as you're going through it. What a, what a guy. Dude, all this whole conversation is just happening with a panned, with, with the, the view. Simple moment. <laughs> yeah, it's just happening with the view of the IV bag and the outside through the window. It's, that's just amazing. It really is cinematic, dude. I wanted to watch the finished product. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Ari, what kind of movie do you want me to make it? Like what I've told you from the beginning. What was that again? A movie that will make them all ball their eyes out holy shit and she looks like like her cheekbones like she looks like she's genuine that was like some of the last moments of her life oh my god oh oh fuck dude he got them too like, uh, sniff, uh, sob. What's with the peace sign, though? Is that him doing that? Oh, wait. Oh, he's doing this, bro. Motherfucker, dude. He. Oh. What a wow. He, he, mm, wow. Fuck. Yuda? Yes? Um, what are you recording? Cat. Hmm. Listen, didn't Aerie wear glasses? I filmed her without them at her request. What about her dental retainer? Whoa, what, really? That also came off her shots, at her request. So you just mindlessly obeyed your girlfriend? We were only a couple in the movie. I never dated Aerie. I did ask her out, but she rejected me. <laughs> You'd never know it from that movie. But Aerie had a temper. She was self-absorbed. Wasn't she actually a pretty big bitch? Uh, yup. That's, she said that's why you and I were her only friends. Hmm. Your Aerie was a little over-idealized. Yup. But she wanted that 
version of her to be remembered, though. Yeah, but I'll always remember her like that. Thanks. And that's this is the same girl that's mom that mom also died, so... He actually made something, like, that connected. Wow. And then... Damn. He's remembering mom. Shot of himself, shot of darkness. Darkness as well. What the hell? It's like he turned it. It's like he's either filming at deep dark night or like he turned the camera off or something. What the fuck? <sighs> Having filmed a death, the thing he couldn't do for his mother, the protagonist regains the will to live and the confidence to make movies. The end. Huh. That was my character in the movie. In the real world, it didn't work out so smoothly for me. After the school festival, is he documenting himself now? I started holing up in my room instead of going to school. I'd spend all day at my computer recutting Aries' movie. Even though this movie had been well received, I'd always have this nagging feeling it was missing something. My hunch was that I could never find the answer in the t in the 2,728 hours of footage from my time with Harry. How the fuck? How, do, how does a phone have that much storage? There's no fucking way. That's a lot of points, bro. That's a lot of bytes. He almost had the greatest phone on earth. Or like multiple phones. I don't even fucking know anymore. Or well, I guess his PC, he could probably move files to his PC, probably. That's probably it. Probably had like a terabyte or two like hard drive just for movies. I continued the recuts even after I started college. Man. I'd take classes, go to my part-time job, and when I got home, I'd end the day tinkering with my airy videos. Huh. I dropped out of college and got a full-time job. <clears throat> there, I met the woman I would marry. Oh, shit. We had a daughter together. 2018. So if he was in high school in 2018, so it's probably like, it has to be like 2021. Because the, this manga came out in 2021, so he's probably, his full-time job adult self is probably 2021, I bet. And he like, did this movie in 2018, and then probably like, what, five years ago? So like 2012 or some shit, that's probably when, it's, it had to have been when he was like, in, in uh, when he was 12. It has to be. It has to be. Something like that, probably. Even after that, I cut and recut Ares' movie countless times. Late 21, 2021, early 2022, yeah. I think so, too. A movie I wasn't even going to show it to anyone. It's not that I was unhappy with my family. If those days had gone by until I died a suitable death, I think I'd have led a happy life. Huh. Dude. That day. That day my wife, daughter, and father, and myself were all in the car. I was driving. In an instant, everything went dark. Oh, shit. Like turning a TV off. The next thing I saw was the ceiling of a hospital room. What? It was explained to me that there had been an accident in front of us, and our vehicle had been caught in it, and I was the only member of my family who'd survived. Oh, dude. This poor man. I couldn't process it. I felt like I was watching that kind of shocking tragedy scene in a movie. Oh. Fuck. 
Thinking back, it was always like that. I have this bad habit of viewing pro the problems right in front of me, from an outside perspective. My mother's death, Aries, I watched them both through a camera. It was the same back in high school, when I considered suicide just like this. I could only face the facts in front of a camera. As a result, I've realized I no longer have enough soul left to endure any more deaths. I'll die in a place that holds memories for me. The end. Oh, fuck. Will he actually do it? Oh, shit. Is it gonna be... Oh, is it the abandoned building? Oh, fuck. He's going in. Through the hallway again. Is he like... Oh, man. I can't believe this building's still here. He's opening the door in the darkness. The projector and the couch are still there, dude. Oh, fuck. He has a noose. Oh, shit. Oh, no. He's pulling it out, dude. This world is filled with death. Huh? It's projecting that? Memento Mori. That's not it. Memento Mori. This is Yuta signing off. Goodbye. And then he closes the thing. It's playing that? What the fuck? You're a lot older than you were back then. Dude. He's definitely seeing, like, shit right now. But then how did the video play? Bro. Oh, my God. He's like, what? The phone. What the hell? Why is it standing like that? Okay. I see. Oh, right. This is a dream. No, wait. Either that or I've gone crazy and I'm hallucinating. Yeah, but this is weird because the phone is standing in a weird position and then she's there and the projector is playing conveniently as he's about to kill himself. That is weird. Like in the movie Permanent Nobara. No, if I had to choose, it's more like the brown bunny. Never heard of those movies. Or the sixth sense. Okay, I've seen that movie. Except... In the one that, pro except in the that one, the protagonist is dead all along. Huh? This movie's on the right track, but it's not quite there. Huh? Sure. Um. What? What? Films that end with a love interest's death are a dime a dozen. I think the latter half could use a leap. It's missing a pinch of fantasy, don't you think? You're talking to me? Yes, I'm talking to you. It does have fantasy. I made you a vampire. That isn't fantasy. I really am a vampire. <laughs> Oh, the... Yeah, that's true. It, it just seemed like... I don't know why I thought that he put the phone in the back on, like, a table. But now, yeah, yeah. He isn't standing near a table, or that shelf right here. He's not standing there at all. I thought he was for some reason. I guess I didn't notice that detail. Yeah, he definitely dropped the phone and the, uh, the noose, the, the bag, I guess. But that did kind of make it seem like, to me, it was still kind of like a weird dreamscape that he's in. Because he did say himself, this has got to be a dream. But no, I, I yeah, that makes sense. He, he Also, it's the floor. This is the wooden floor. 
I don't know why I thought he was, it was on a shelf. But yeah, he did just drop the bag. I can definitely see that it bounces off the ground. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Because he's clearly not standing near a, a shelf. For some reason, that's what I thought. And he put the bag down. No, he dropped it because he saw he saw Aerie. And he's like, what the fuck? Okay. Glad that's cleared up. Thanks for saying that, honestly. But it makes sense. It makes sense. The surprise, you know. I'm going to start from this panel. It does have fantasy. I made you a vampire. That isn't fantasy. I really am a vampire. The proof's right here. I'm still young, aren't I? His face. I mean, I would make the same face. But, but you died. I filmed your death. Yep, I died. But only up here. What? What? Did you know? The brain has limited storage space. Just like a hard drive? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah. In 200 years, a human's brain would fill to bursting and kill them. Like the airy in this movie. I mean, that is true when you think about it. Like, will humans ever live to be longer than that? It's possible, but our brains. The, hang on, let me go on a tiny tangent. Our brains. Like, I remember listening to a podcast and they were talking about like how kangaroos. If like if there was a species to take over the earth, it would probably be kangaroos, and we were wondering why. Well, the pouch, the pouch that they have, here's the thing. If our brains get bigger and bigger and our heads get bigger, it's going to be kind of difficult to give birth. But what kangaroos do is they, they, they give birth first and then keep them in the pouch so they can develop. So if like, you know what I mean? Like if we were smarter and like we had bigger brains and it was like a pouch situation, you could birth like bigger headed smarter i guess humans or species that would be able to evolve not inside someone so they wouldn't be able to give birth you know it's a weird thing but like yeah i wonder how humans will be like in like 200 years you know how long will we live it's a very fascinating subject but apparently the real me is a vampire not a human as long as my heart's intact, I'll never die. That's so fascinating. What the hell? I revived three days later with all my memories gone. This is how vampires should work. Like, because she still has a brain as a vampire. So like every fucking 200 years or some shit, just re hard reset. What the hell? The last Aerie left me a letter with instructions on how I should live. So you're telling... So she basically wanted to know what happened in her last life. Apparently, I've lost my memories and started life over again from the beginning like that dozens of times now. Oh my god! I bet before the age of technology, she just told people to write her story down. That's probably why the envelope is there or something. It sounds like a story out of a movie. Exactly. This time, I had more than just a letter. This movie was left with it. What the fuck? The movie showed me what kind of person the last me was. He does not know how to process this information, bro. That's so fucked. And yet... I, uh, will you be able to cope with this? Everyone you love will die before you do. Your parents, sweethearts, friends, you'll watch them all die. Won't living like that drive you to despair? Hmm. 
I think the last Airy must have been in despair, yes. But I'll be fine. Because I have this movie. Oh my god. Well, for one thing, it's fucked to know, to realize that when she dies, that last her is gone, so this is basically a different person when you think about it. But she has this movie. She has this movie. And that struck something within him. That struck something within his brain right then and there. I'll get to see you every time I watch it. No matter how many times I forget you, I'll remember you again and again. Oh, fuck. Isn't that beautiful? This is the craziest twist plot I've ever read. And it's beautiful. Holy shit. It really is beautiful. That's the truth. No matter how many times she's going to forget. Yeah. Yeah, it is. I don't like people talking during movies. It, maybe it is the same personality area. She just forgets, man. Because she, she said that again in her second or whatever other life. I don't like people talking to her movies. She said that before, too. Personality's still the same, in a way. It's just she doesn't remember the last 200 years. So if you aren't going to sit down, could you, un could you see yourself out? Yeah, I will. Oh, he really is just straight up leaving. Fuck. Goodbye. Yeah. Goodbye. Oh my god. And he's just walking back out. After that, she and I would never meet again. Damn. You see, I'd finally figured it out. The reason I'd recut that film so many times. It's missing a pinch of fantasy, don't you think? Oh, what an ending, dude. What an ending. <laughs> the end. Oh, shit. You made it explode, bro. Oh. oh, my God. That was, like, the best thing I've ever read in my life, bro. I'm not even fucking joking. That plot... That really genuinely felt like an actual movie. Like, that could be played. Like, that was made in, like, 2014 or some shit. And then was played in the movie theater. You know? Bro. That was amazing. This needs to turn into a movie. Like, an anime movie. Wow. That twist. Movie. The comic. <laughs> That was amazing. Oh. Fuck, dude. I think the parts that got me good was this twist. First, well, the twist here, the, um, uh, when Aerie died, like right here, this got me. And then, I guess also the beginning as well. There's just a lot to go through right now. Wow, that just that scrolled really fast. There's this theory that the whole story is a movie and that older Yuta is played by his father. Oh wow. That is an interesting theory, actually. Because he, now that I think about it, he does look like his father. Hmm. That is an interesting theory. Goodbye Area is more of a movie than some movies. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? It's not even an actual movie. It really is! I mean, the panel work in of itself, that's just what Fujimoto is fucking known for. I love the way he does panel work. It's fascinating. I've never seen a, a manga artist do it like that before. Like, even if I go back enough, like, shit like this, with the just pure darkness, and then um, the IV bag for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 pages of just the same panel. 
but it's just dialogue, you know? <clears throat> There's a good 20-page fan comic for Chainsaw Man called Out with a Bang. It's basically a good, good, good by Aerie, but for Chainsaw Man. Oh, wow. Huh. Interesting. Well, I might put that on the list to read, just for fun. But either way, this was a great shot. I'm glad I read this. Well, thank you for the recommendations. But good God, man. Oh, you posted a paneling joke. Oh, no. I forget that I, I have the dank memes. Dank memes. You know, like, fuck it. Oh. Okay. You know what? Wait. Should I just read it? I may as well just read it. I mean, why not? Yeah, it's spoilered, but... We're in the stream now. We read... We, we read Goodbye, Airy together. So I can read this. Actually, let's, let's actually see what this is. Hang on. Where are we in this situation? Lay it on me, kiddo. You paid hard-earned money for the stuff? Oh, wait, actually, hang on. No, that doesn't work. Okay, I'll just keep it like this. Read from left to right. Oh, right. American. American comics. Hi, Mr. Schaff. It's great to meet you. I brought a lot of stuff. You don't have to sign it all if you don't want to. Lay it on me, kiddo. You paid hard-earned money for the stuff. The least I can do is deface it with my illegible scribble. Cool. I gotta say, man, I'm amazed at how you get these things out on a monthly basis. Oh, I can see the joke. It seems like so much work to do in such a short amount of time, and you're never late. Actually, a lot of times, I'll just reuse art that I've already done over and over. It's good for dramatic pauses when one stuff really doesn't change much from panel to panel. Most people don't even notice. He's like, Don't, don't you think that's kind of cheap? Not really. <laughs> you know, honestly, though, it does save a lot of time when you really think about it. He has to have that in mind, though. Because it does. If you're drawing something weekly or bi-weekly, yeah, I can get that. I can get that, honestly. Horikoshi has done that here at Academia. He's reused a lot of uh, panels because he doesn't have time. Or, like, drawings. Because he doesn't have time sometimes. And you have to do what you gotta do. But with something like this, he obviously had all the time in the world, I think. Because it's a one-shot. But, yeah, it's a funny joke. That's a funny joke. <laughs> Okay, well, that was great. I love that. Yeah, he actually almost always redraws characters with different expressions between panels. Very true, I've noticed that. And that's really cool, because, like, it just shows the pacing, and, like, it, it's just great. I don't know what else to say, bro. It's just great. It's fucking great. Damn. Dude. Oh yeah, what I should do is, well, first of all, if you don't know, there's a Discord. Yeah, I do need to read Look Back. I'm definitely going to do that. I might do that while I, uh, when I read um, the new Chainsaw Man chapter on Tuesday. I might just read Look Back too, Probably. So I can, like, get that done as well. I think that's a good idea. In fact, wait, let me... I probably just favorite it. I'm definitely going to favorite this one. Because I think I can do it from... Wait, how do you favorite something on Viz? Oh, yeah, it's right there. Look back. Look back. Yeah, there it is. Put that on my favorites as well so I can read it probably on Tuesday. Just because I, since I'm going to read Chainsaw Man on Tuesday, I'll read Look Back as well. I assume it's also probably 200 ish pages, 145 pages. Okay. Yeah, I can definitely do that. I'll just live stream it again. I'll also live stream live Chainsaw Man as well, because fuck it, why not? I'll just start doing this shit live, because it's fun. Maybe not for One Piece and Hero Academia, because I could just read those, get those out, but I still could. I don't know if y'all want to join for that. Yeah, great. Uh, that's One Piece. <laughs> yeah, I, I really enjoyed Goodbye Area. That was really good. I'm glad to have read it, so thanks for the recommendations. And I'll read Look Back on Tuesday as well as Chainsaw Man, new chapter. And, 
what else? I guess the new anime episode of Chainsaw Man. And Bleach. Oh yeah, I forgot. I have to watch Bleach as well, because that's, that's also a thing. The new episode should be next... Oh, is it... Wait, what? It should be on Tuesdays. Like, the episodes. Is there not one this Tuesday? Is it next Tuesday? Oh, we'll... we'll I'll, I'll, I'll look it up. We'll figure it out. In fact... Chainsaw Man anime... Schedule... Uh... What's today? The 16th? Sunday? So, the 18th. I'm sure it's probably. Yeah, October 18th at 9 a.m. PT, so that's 11 a.m. for me. Okay, yeah. Central Time, 11 a.m. Yep. No episodes next Tuesday. It's a lot going to come out on Tuesday, so look forward to it. Okay, well, I'm going to be done because I'm going to watch the Hero Academia episode. I need to do that and get that out uh, in a couple hours because uh, I usually put those out on Sunday. So, And I might just stream Noida, actually. I might do that because I love that game. I'll do that later. Anyway, thanks for watching. Genuinely appreciate it. That was a good read-through. That whole story was fascinating, and I love it. It might be in my, like, my top ten uh, like manga of all time. Like, it was genuinely just a great read-through. And I'll see what I think about Look Back when that comes out, so. Thanks for watching. And, uh, that's it. Have a good one. Memento. Memento Mori. Remember... Remember death. Remember death. And then Unus Honest, that means one year. But whoever knows Unus Honest... You're a real one. <laughs> All right, see ya. Have a good day.